Slope grid, a cellular confinement system that provides the protection needed to control erosion. The system also can aid other geosynthetic products in protecting vegetation on steep slopes. The first step is to remove all vegetation, then flatten out any rails and smooth the property as best you can. All slope grids need to be anchored to the earth. We are going to use a combination of earth anchors and J-hooks for this job. Both can be purchased from Celtec. J-hooks can also be made on site. Here is a diagram on what we call for in a J-hook. The tool required to make your own J-hook is a rebar cutter and bender. This is a simple way to make J-hooks on site so you know you have enough for the job. We are going to pre-drill the slope grid before expanding. This is the hole required for a tendon. The tendon is attached to an earth anchor and run through the center of the slope grid. You will need to pre-drill each cell on the end of the slope grid and then every other cell throughout the center of the product. These holes again are where we're going to run our tendon. We are using a 3,000 pound tendon. This tendon is a polyester material, like a large shoestring. Celtec tendons come in 2,000 pounds, 4,000 pounds, and 6,000 pounds. Now we are ready to cut the tendons in the length we need. I use a sod staple and straighten it out and turn it into a needle. You will need electrical tape and a razor knife. Tape the tendon to the sod staple and thread it through the hole that we drilled. Then tie a knot on the lower end. Each piece of slope grid requires five tendons, one in the left and right side, one in the center, and one in between the side and the center. This will spread the load equally throughout the slope grid. Once you have everything laid out, it is now time to install the earth anchors. You are going to install these at the top of each tendon. Screw them into the eyes about an inch off the ground. Since these are four foot long, be sure you've called Miss Utility. Then you attach each tendon by tying them to the eye at the top of the hill. Now you are ready to install the U-bolts. The U-bolt is attached to the tendon. This prevents the slope grid from sliding down the hill, which will carry the weight of the soil and plants. Once you have the U-bolt fastened to the tendon, you will slide it to the top of the cell. This will prevent the slope grid from sliding. We will approximately put these every three feet down the tendon. Once you have them in the position that you want, simply tighten them up. The positioning of a U-bolt is important. Here's a great example where two slope grids connect to each other. Once you get used to this, you will then figure out how to go around objects that are in your way. The J-hooks are installed at the end of each tendon. This will tighten them down to the hill. We also install them down the sides. Before installing the soil, make sure everything is tight and in place. Then you are ready to install the soil. Start filling at the top of the hill. Do not bring machines over and dump large amounts. Carefully put it in and then compact it to your desire. It is important to use good topsoil. You will want the plants to get good vegetation growth. This is where the roots will grow into the system, anchoring everything together, making one blanket unit. Slope grid is the most economical product on the market. Then once you have all your soils in place, it is now ready to plant. Planting is important. Pick the plants that grow well in your region. Celtech thanks you for your time and learning about slope grid.